How's it going guys? This is Dylan from DKB Art and today we're looking at a three panel, three different color background and I'm going to tell you how I achieved this and kind of my thinking behind it. So, first of all, what I did here is I have a 9 by 12 um, and I have the 9 going up, 12 across. So what I did is I measured 4 inches here and I put a little line there measured four inches down here, put a little line there, took a piece of tape and stretched it across to get a long straight line down. And I did the same thing over here. As you can tell, I didn't do it perfectly. I'll have to go in and do some touch-ups later, but I just wanted to get this video out. And I also have a little bit of round splotches. So when you do that tape, make sure that it's tight and that it's stuck down completely, like you can see on this blue side. We have that nice straight blue line with no blue marks on the white side, whereas over here we have some brown marks. So let's show how we did this. So here we see me starting with the brown side, and I'm just kind of lathering it on with this heavy brush here, which left the bigger brush strokes on the brown side. So you might want to use a little bit of a lighter brush if you want it more smooth. And I do go in and blend it a little bit with a smaller brush here. Um, after the brown, I actually went on to the middle layer. And as you can see on the other side, I actually started with a pink layer. Decided to change that later um, to that blue that we saw in the beginning. So here I am just using a palette knife to kind of lather that white on as well, smooth it out a little bit, and then I'll go in and blend that with another brush so there that brush is so this nice little blending going on and as you can see we're already getting that nice little three panel three tone color scheme that we were looking for with the background and one thing to remember here is that it's not a big deal. I started with pink and went to blue, especially with acrylic. Um, adding another layer onto an acrylic actually generally makes it a better and a smoother layer because we're not fighting that canvas that we did in the original layer of paint. So it's not very much of a big deal that I went to the blue. And I definitely made a little bit of a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say, on the brown side there. Um, I will go in and fix that before the final part here. And this should be about it for the white here. Next up, we had the blue. And with the blue, I was using a much smaller brush because I wanted to keep it very smooth on that side. Sorry, Alexa, chill. So I'm keeping this very small brush. As you can see, it takes a while. I have to make a lot of trips back to my palette to grab more blue. Um, kind of dashing it in a diagonal direction, and then I'll go in and fix it later. There you see I made another happy accident with the blue. So key, f what did Dylan do wrong here? Definitely not being careful enough, going too fast. Um, I was trying to get it all done before the paint dried so I could go back in and blend it. I should have been blending as I go in. I think I kind of realized that here. So I started blending as I went along. And that's how I should have been doing it the whole time. Maybe I wouldn't have made that little accident there. So. About done with the blue here. And then I'll just do a little bit of blending. And that is going to give us a nice little smooth blue side. So now we will go back out to our original final painting. And I will continue talking to you there. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple procedure. Um, all you needed to do was tape there and then go ahead and paint it. If you want a little bit of texture like I did over here on this brown side, you can go ahead and leave those brush marks in. But I... Also, didn't want any texture on this blue side, so left it pretty smooth. And then I picked white in the middle. Obviously, you can pick whatever three colors that you want. Um, how this plays on a rule in photography 
is the rule of thirds. So in photography, the rule of thirds suggests that stuff is visually appealing to our eyes when it comes from the middle of two thirds. So here I'm separating this completely into thirds and I can play on that eye rule of thirds in photography to make a visually appealing painting. And what I do with this, I will be showing you later on this channel if you'd like to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will also be doing some more interesting background ideas. So please do stay tuned for that. So if that sounds interesting to you, leave a like, leave a subscription, and comment what you think of this background. Could I make it better? What three colors would you choose? Let me know something in the comment section. All right, thank you guys.